Hello and welcome to Brand New Vegan. This is Chuck and today we're doing something entirely different. It's not a recipe. I'm doing a review of the new Full Star 701 Chopper Pro that I got in the mail yesterday. And I put a little teaser on Facebook. Everybody wanted a video review. This is it. I've never done one of these reviews before, so bear with me. Um, but this is uh, me playing with my new toy today and how it went. Now, why I bought it. That's my old setup. That big red thing, I call it the guillotine. That's my mandolin slicer. The light thing is the spiralizer I've never used. A big cutting board, my knife, all the attachments. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. That little guy in the corner, that's what I bought. That replaces all of that stuff. So it's going to save me a ton of space on my counter. That's why I bought it. It slices, it dices, it spiralizes. It does all kinds of things I'll probably never use it for. Um, it's all compact. I like that. Came with the instruction manual. Be sure and read it. That's the chopper part. You put your blades in there and it locks down with that little lever. Put it in upside down. It won't. There you go. That's the mandolin part. Your food guard. And that, there's the guillotine. Be careful with that thing. I like that it came with the Kevlar glove. I wish I would have had one of those with my old mandolin. It would have saved my thumb. I like that it's graduated. You can see how much stuff you've got in there, cup-wise, one cup, two cups. It's kind of cool. So let's try it out. There's the, the fine chop. This is the coarse chop. So I can see this being very handy for like uh, potato chips. Well, not potato chips, french fries, french fries. And it comes with a little, if I can get it out, a little cleaner there. So in case you get stuff stuck up in there, you can scrape it out. It's kind of cool. That's the, uh, spiralizer part. It comes with two. One is for making little thin like zoodles and there's the cleaning brush. And then the other one is for making like ribbons. I don't know why you would make ribbons of zucchini. I've never cooked like that so probably never use it. But it's cool. That's the mandolin part. So it comes with a grater. It comes with a julienne like for uh, carrots. And of course, it comes with the guillotine. Wear the glove. Wear the glove. Always, always, always wear the glove. I really like this came with a glove. <clears throat> I've never told you my story about my thumb before. It wasn't pretty. Okay, so let's try this out. I took an onion, cut it in half, peeled it. I got the little fine dice chopper in there. Half an onion was a little bit too big, so I cut it again. And you just push down, boom, just like that. If I use it for nothing else other than chopping onions, it's going to save me a ton of time. So I like it. I like it that it has the container. Everything goes into the container. Super easy. Be careful if you put that in the sink, like I just did. Don't reach over there later with your left thumb and accidentally brush on it. It is razor sharp. It will cut you. I like that it has rubber feet. Of course, it's probably not a smart idea to put it on a movable cutting board like that that slides around. Okay, here's the french fry part. I took a potato, put half a potato on, bam. Yeah, I can also see this being very useful for making my oven fries. So, chopping onions, making onion fries, this is going to be really cool. The mandolin scares me. It, they always do, because I cut my thumb before. Use the food guard, use the glove. But this would be very handy for making my potato chips. They cut a really nice, thinly sliced potato. Uh, I've read in the instruction book, it doesn't work too well for tomatoes. It did work for the cucumbers, but that scares me because I can't use the food guards, they're so long. And I'm just using my hand. So make sure you wear that glove. But it did a good job. Now I got the grater on with a carrot. Grab the glove. Okay. And again, that kind of scares me because I can't use the food guard. I'm just using my hand. But it did a really good job cutting. And, you know, that would be handy for salads. I tried to put the food guard on it. Yeah, it didn't work too well. you kind of forced to use your hand on that. Just be really, really careful. So far, so good found a cute little red cabbage. I tried to make coleslaw with this thing. 
eh, it worked, but it's very messy. I mean, coleslaw, red cabbage went everywhere. I probably won't use this for making coleslaw. I'll probably just use my knife. It's uh, a lot cleaner and just as fast, I think. But it did a good job, so thumbs up for that. So I used a little brush over there to clean out, and it worked really well. But when they say those blades are razor sharp, they really do mean it, so be careful. That little guy there was in the sink. I reached in with my left hand, because I had the glove on my right hand, and I was just grabbing, I don't know, something. Notice the Band-Aid on my thumb? Yeah, they are razor sharp. So my only warning with this, that's not a thumbs up, is be very, very careful. They will cut you. Yeah, that one right there. In fact, the manual, it tells you right in the front page, always wear a glove. So if you get nothing else out of this review, wear the glove, use the food guard, but be careful. It says right there, they are very sharp. And they are. I just barely brushed my thumb across the top. So for the last bit here, I got the spiralizer. I got the other half of that cucumber. Wear the glove, Chuck. Put on the glove. Okay, good idea. And you just kind of twist it in there. That's how you do it. I've never really made spiralized zoodles or anything, so I'm not really one to judge. It seems like it did a good job. So that is my review. I like it that it takes up so much less counter space. And come on, it was like 25 bucks, 27 bucks. It's cheap. Um, it's dishwasher safe, so you can put everything on the top rack of your dishwasher. I like that. I love that little glass container. It's not glass, it's plastic. That everything catches. So my old setup didn't have anything like that. It just went all over the cutting board and made a mess. Hmm. I like the fact it's got so many, you know, if I want to grate, if I want to chop, if I want to make french fries, if I want to make uh, potato chips, it's all there. It's going to save me a ton of counter space. I like it. My only warning is use that food guard, use the glove, be very, very careful. Other than that, 25 bucks, worth it. Totally worth it. I'm going to enjoy using this for my onions and my potatoes, and we'll see what else I can do. So, until this weekend, where the recipe comes out, have fun, enjoy your day. This is Chuck, a brand new vegan. Thanks for watching.